Hello, today I'd like to talk about rugby dads. Rugby dads are the brutish, beer-drinking Jean men of the Southside Dublin genotype. These Anglo-Irish archetypes drag their kids to the Aviva Stadium, paint their faces blue and christen them with names like Reuben, Jeremiah or Cian Healy. Because it's not enough for rugby dads to take a personal interest in the sport, they have to get their wife and children involved in the scrum too. Join together in unison to enjoy some good old-fashioned Leinstertainment, making the rugby dad part of a wider collective known as the rugby family, a family of forwards in which personhood gets reduced down into a collection of props. Rugby dads are usually on the parents' committee of their son's fee-paying school that they also went to 30 years ago, standing staunchly on the firing lines, preventing the implementation of any policies that could level the playing field and stop favouring lads that play on the senior cup team. The same senior cup team, they almost made it onto themselves if they never tore their ACL a week before their leaving cert. Rugby dads hate art and culture, but love sports. So through their disdain of all things extracurricular and non-athletic, we can see that the rugby dad is a representation of the death of the high school musical. Rugby dads still know all of their school chants, a time they value strongly because everything went downhill after their internship with KPMG. Despite the rugby dad's high earning salary, they still don't know much about how life works, but they don't need to know because the rugby mom is the glue that holds the rugby dad together. The rugby mom is a highly intelligent... Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. You look like you want to kiss me. This one? We can't... <laughs> The rugby mum is a much more intelligent, yet often overlooked species of the rugby family ecosystem. She's a walking encyclopedia of business acumen, she's clued into the political landscape, and she also really loves baking. <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> it's easy to spot a rugby mum in the wild, because despite her feminine appearance, when the ball crosses over the 22 metre line, you can hear her scream, Come on men! The rugby dad is still being haunted by the ghost of their almost successful sports career as an out half, turning their regret into a business portfolio slash semi-misogynistic banter in the workplace. Now, the rugby dad has other dads working for him, other dads who went to the community college down the road from where he used to play cricket and made it their sole occupation to go on coffee runs for him and tell the revenue that he just left the building. <laughs>